Um, you're, you got, you know, you're into so many things now. I never know what you're doing. Well, you know, I try to try to stay your, active. You spread your success out. My seed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sam Roberts here at the WrestleMania 29 press conference, once again with Triple H. Triple H, what's the haps? Not much. Thanks for dressing up today. You, you look nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you really uh, went all out in the wardrobe, huh? <laughs> well, I didn't know this was. This came out of nowhere. This press conference. I didn't know it was happening. Spending all that big coin you're <laughs> making over at the DJ job. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> Seamus, what's the haps? What's the haps? Well, obviously WrestleMania 29 is coming, fella. We're we're like a month away from WrestleMania 28 in Miami, where I'll uh, I'll be in one of the main event matches for either the WWE or World Heavyweight Championship. But right now, it's all the buzz is about MetLife Stadium here, WrestleMania 29, New York, New Jersey, and uh, fella, I'm very excited. Sam Roberts here at the WrestleMania 29, 29. press conference with John Cena. What's the haps, John? Well, we haven't yet had 28. I am. We're still a month away from that, so I guess. Uh, you know, we're announcing 29, but it, what, what an awesome venue. Well, you've been on this promo tour for 28, and by promo tour, I mean getting ready for your main event against The Rock. Yep. At the same time, now you're already promoing WrestleMania 29. Yep. Does this press conference bring with it a sense of exhaustion for you? No, not at all. We're just getting going. And uh, it was a little awkward when we announced uh, 28 the day after 27, yep. and I didn't know how that was going to work out, but here we are, like, truly with a you know, elimination chamber on Sunday, truly, like, on the road to WrestleMania, and... It truly, it's it's a, a feeling of excitement. Like it's it's finally here. It's like counting down the days to Christmas, and this is just a, a little bit of icing on the cake. And my boy Dwayne actually said he was going to be here, in some capacity for 29. That's what I was just about to say. He After said he was beat his ass in Miami. He's going <laughs> to have to get a little retribution. So I, maybe maybe we can do it again. This was uh, other than the shock of not seeing you directly up front. Um, it was a hell of an event today. Um, you know, WrestleMania, like Vince said, coming home, New York, New Jersey. I mean. Um, this is our backyard. This is this is what we are. Um, for years, this was referred to as the New York Company, um, and it, it's what we are. So this is coming home for us. It's an exciting day. You're a young guy. How old are you? You're a young guy. I'm young enough, yeah. Yeah. You. Uh, the, hair has, the hair hasn't started falling out yet. Neither is mine. I mean, we both have very. I haven't found any grays either. We both have very characteristic hair. Is this some? Do the ladies respond to you as well as they respond to me? I don't know how well the ladies respond. Not well, not well. Really. No, no. We're probably in the same boat there. No. <laughs> yeah, I think so. You do have to thank The Rock, though, because I feel like uh, this was a big year for you, mainly because you were on the cover of a box of cereal for, I think, the first time. Absolutely. And you would never have done that without The Rock, I don't think. Yeah, well, here's the thing. Uh, the Pretty guy, Pebbles. The guy tries to, you know, clown the way I dress and, and make fun of who I am, and I spun it into getting on the two million cereal boxes. So <laughs> I, I thought it was awesome. And uh, it's become... A part of our show last yeah. week in San Diego. Not only were they chanting in unison, "We all hate you," but they were also chanting "Fruity Pebbles." But then you switched it around and you stopped wearing the bright colors, and now you're back to wearing black shirts. Is this The Rock peer pressuring you? No. The reason for the black shirt was obviously the strong message. If you look at the T-shirt, it's not really the colorful graphics. Uh, I came out with the Rise Above Hate to really kind of exemplify who I am, especially with like The Rock knocking on me. Yeah. Uh, it's a red, white, and blue font, but I needed something real basic to get the message across. You'll you'll see some more uh, Fruity Pebble stuff in the very near future. Thank God, because I like the colorful me stuff. Me too, me too. That's I, my I thing. just needed to get the message across. I always watch uh, with my fiance, and she wanted me to ask, she always wonders this, does Vince McMahon have a thing for like really thick accents? It seems like they've been popping up more and more. Uh, you've got quite a brogue yourself. Is, is this? Is, does he have an accent thing? I don't know. You want to ask him? I think he's. Uh, I think he's over in the fire room there. You need to ask him. I, I definitely. Uh, I'm not. I'm not aware of that. But uh, you know, who knows? We've become very uh, much an international flavor. WWE. Yeah. I mean, we travel all around the world. We. Uh, Next week we're going to South America, Australia, New Zealand. It's coming up as well. European tours. It's literally just you know it's an international flavor, and we got people, uh, superstars now from South Africa, Scotland, England, myself from Ireland, Mexico, Canada. Um, you know it's just it's incredible. I was thinking when I was waiting for you that I've I've interviewed you a few times now. Yeah, it's like a thousand for us. The fact that I've gotten to interview you that many times. I have to believe your press tour has to be ridiculous because I shouldn't have access that many times to a star on your level. How many interviews are you doing on a monthly, weekly, yearly basis? You, you guys, you guys are the red carpet. You just say the word, and I'll give you whatever you need to know about whatever I know. You guys, uh, you guys have the fast track. How do you think this interview is going so far? Phenomenal. It's one of your better ones. Yeah. Well, thank you. You know, this could all be yours. I could be doing this, but for you. Really? That's right. I've pitched myself to you before, and I feel like I'm not, not. I haven't gotten that feedback. Oh, that. 
I mean, we don't have to do anything, though. We could just keep doing this. Hi, man. I told you, you know, send your resume. <laughs> Put it at the bottom of the pile. What you said to me was, uh, uh, we're always looking for new talent, so let me know if you find someone with exactly. any. That's yeah. That's what you said. Yeah. That, if you see anybody, let me know. The last time I talked to you, you told Opie and Anthony that they should give me more money and you into the camera and everything. Yeah, so did that work out for you? How'd that work out for you? So far, not good. But you're still here, though. But I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And you just said you shouldn't be interviewing. No, this isn't. Guys, what what are you doing? You know? Yeah, I mean, he's still here. He's, he's real loyal. Loyalty should be rewarded. I'll tell you what. Um, budget cuts and everything. we got to afford your salary, so I know there's probably no money in it for you. High salaries. I can maybe get a case of Fruity Pebbles and like a six-pack of uh, Pabst uh, Pints. That would be good. They won't be cold. No. But, I mean, you know, you'll have breakfast cereal and you can put the Pabst in the cereal in the place of milk because we can't. The milk will spoil. And we can't afford the milk. That's fair enough. Well, but that's a decent little package. I think so. It's an At least it's free breakfast exactly. for a while. Free breakfast and a buzz. Um, <laughs> uh, I appreciate you talking to us. You're a very big man, and uh, good luck with the ladies. You know. Thanks very much. Thank you. You too, by the way. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot.